I am Colleen Long, and I cover the White House for the Associated Press. More sophisticated lab results came back showing that the powdery substance found uh, in the West Wing this weekend was, in fact, cocaine. Investigators had done earlier tests when they discovered the powder on Sunday, a sort of rapid field test in order to determine whether or not the substance was hazardous. Um, That field test came back preliminarily testing for cocaine. And now what we have is a more formal lab test showing that the substance was in fact cocaine. We have confidence that the Secret Service is going to get to the bottom of this. As you all know, the president follows all the reporting here, uh, and he certainly was briefed by his staff on everything that we know so far. But the Secret Service is investigating this, is investigating what happened over the weekend, and we have confidence that they will get to the bottom of this. So it was found... Uh, Sunday afternoon by Secret Service agents who were doing routine checks of the White House. The president and his family were out of town at the time at Camp David for the July 4th holiday. Um, The Secret Service agents called the fire department in to have the substance tested to ensure that it wasn't something hazardous. Uh, And that's when the um, emergency teams discovered that it was actually cocaine. It was found in a um, sort of common area in the West Wing in the lobby where there's a desk and some uh, in an area where tourists drop off their stuff when they're doing um, when they're coming through to do a a tour of the West Wing. Um, It was on the floor, we think, and it was found in a little plastic envelope. Uh, So right now, Officials are combing through security footage. They're looking at um, who might have dropped this unintentionally or how it ended up in the White House in the first place.